All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. And salutations to the Akim around the world that pushes truth in sincerity. I'd like to cover a topic here entitled, you know, Pride Coming Before Destruction. Because really and truly, you have an proud spirit. If you're in this truth, is something you had to try to work on. But you realize as a spirit that you might find this plague here often. Today I'm Romans 12, <coughs> verse 3, right? It says, For I say, to the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, which is something that might tend to happen to you from time to time. You know, so that spirit that is trying to encourage you to think of high-minded or to think too highly of yourself especially when you start to acquire more knowledge you understand when you start to see that you understand things that people in the world don't understand it'll start to affect your way of thinking <clears throat> you might start to think high-mindedly which really and truly is something that not pleasing to the most are you because like the scriptures say like it say here in um, <clears throat> In Ecclesiastes 3, verse 18, it said, The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. So, really and truly, no matter how wise you might gain this truth, you always have to try to be humble at all times. Right, um, say, um, yeah, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think soberly, which is with a clear mind, according as the Mosai had dealt with every man, the measure of faith. Because how you know how does say? How the only worldly saying is go wisdom is bleak, and bleak means to have little, to have little. You understand? <coughs> to have little or no faith. So whenever you start to Whenever you start to think more high-mindedly, it does affect your faith also. It's today Proverbs 16, I'll start from 17. It's from 18, but I also like 17. I say, the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. Right? And that is a good example of being high-minded. Because if it's something the most I don't delight in, then you know it's an evil thing. And say, he that walk, he that keepeth his way, preserveth his soul. And that is really one of the jobs you have in this truth. To use the scriptures to try to keep your way aright. It's a pride go before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. So even the scriptures telling you, the minute you start to become proud and high-minded, that is, you know you're making you're making a part of destruction for yourself, which is not something you want so close to the end. It said, better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to, than to divide the spoils with the proud. Because really and truly, the people who is the high people in this world, that's what the Americans say, the proud and the free. They must be some of the most proud people in this world. And really and truly, right now, they have all the spoils. You don't want to be partakers with them. It's best you be with the people of a low estate and on low continents. You understand? Whose spirit does think humble and not with the people who are high-minded. That, really, that really is the better way to be. You see, better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud. So the scriptures in many places always tell you, <coughs> always try to be humble. Humility is what the most I delight in. He delight in it, he delight in humility in men and in women. But with women it's different. But with a man, you have to try to be humble. The scriptures aren't telling you to don't be a man. Okay, that's a difference between being humble and being Effeminate is a very big difference. By telling you to be humble in spirit. 
You see the Ecclesiasticus, the Book of Sirach, in the Apocrypha, chapter 10, I'll start from 12, right? To say, the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High and his heart is turned away from his Maker. So, really and truly, there is not something that you want for yourself. Even though we can't choose with faith, this is something you have to pray against that it never happened. Because you don't want to depart from your maker. Because we know the penalty of the that do. You see, for pride is the beginning of sin. Because when you become proud, you will start to transgress at one point or the other. And he that hate it shall pour out abomination. Really and truly. And even though it mightn't cause you to transgress, you can say pride, when you start to become proud, which is against what the most I tell you, come like you're transgressing right there. You see, and he that and he that had it pour out abomination. It's saying, therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Which is something that used to happen to us a lot in the past. When we people started to become proud and started to depart from the Mosai, used to bring calamities upon them. You understand? To remind them that here it is going on. I is the boss here. In verse 16 and say, No, it was 15 and say, The Lord had plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their places. Right? And we used to be more. When, when we used to be more lowly is when we actually used to be in charge and the Mosai actually used to be working with us because he wouldn't have worked with us if we had a proud spirit. It's only when we started to become proud and started to go off then when we had to go under other nations really and truly to be able to, um, to humble the spirit once again. And then it was like a repetitive cycle. We would put away other nations, we would become more humble and more obedient you put me in charge after a little while pass we get proud again back into slavery to get humble you understand so ready and truly you understand humility is a real important thing because anytime you start to become high-minded most side doesn't find favor with you it say he took i say um it was 16 instead the lord over over two countries of the heathens and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth right so say he took some of them away and destroyed them and had made their memorial to made their memorial to cease from the earth right they say pride was not made for men no furious anger for them that are born of a woman because really and truly there is, a, there is actually one of the trials that we had to go through it's like all the other temptations that we had to resist. Pride is one of them. Already and truly, Israel really not supposed to have that kind of spirit. We're supposed to be humble under the Mosai. But due to the situation that we're in and what we had to endure for now, until that time passed that we could receive the promise, there's something we just had to endure. You understand? But as the scriptures say to he that overcome it. But is the ones who will receive the big rewards. So there's just something also, just like all the other temptations that you had to try to overcome. You understand? It's today James 4. I'll start from 6. I'll say, But he give it more grace, wherefore he say it, the most I resisted the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. So your mission is ready to try to be the opposite of proud, which is humble. Like I say, proud, um, humble, humility, and effeminate is two different things. A man can be humble, but he still had to be a man. When the time comes around to do what he had to do, he still had to make decisions as a man. But that don't mean that you will be of a high mind and think highly of yourself. It's two completely different things. You understand? And that is certain meant to be able to tell the difference is always very important also. That is something you always have to pray for. For that is certain meant to be able to see when you're being proud or humble or when you're being effeminate. Because the most I don't deal with effeminates. He has deal with humble men. So, hope you all learned something. With that, 
I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, and others of great mercy and rule well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that pushes you in sincerity. Shalom.